Hey guys, Booligan here with Booligan Shooting Sports, doing a quick update video on a previous 3D printed firearm project of mine. This, as you may or may not recognize, is my CZ AR. This is a VZ61 style build utilizing a VZ61 upper parts kit as well as with an AR15 fire control group which allows it to have out of the box very easy semi-automatic operation and disables the fully automatic features that the VZ61 upper would normally have. As with many of my guns, this features a 3D printed lower, in this case designed by Ivan and available on Control Pew and Deterrence Dispensed. I made some changes to my CZAR lower, mainly by getting rid of the buffer tube mount at the rear and replacing it with a molded in Picatinny mount so that I could utilize my folding brace design and still keep it as a nice, lightweight, compact pistol. My previous video Everything from about here back is the same as it was pictured now, roughly. I printed an additional brace. Um, I kind of came to the realization, it's kind of silly, but I had one folding brace and I just kept switching it from gun to gun to gun, depending on which one I was using or which one I was showing a video on or what. I have a 3D printer. I have filament. I designed the damn thing, so I just printed more. Um, one thing that kind of kept me from wanting to print more was I did have a little bit of a headache trying to find the right hardware to complete it. Luckily, uh, we have a beta test on this brace as well as with that Space Gap 22 that I showed off earlier. We did a beta test on it. It's currently in beta over at Deterrence Dispensed, uh, but part of that was finding a good hardware solution for this. So it's actually very simple. It just uses a quarter inch clevis pin. In my case, I attached a key ring there at the bottom just to give sort of a sling attachment point. And then the spring, if you believe it or not, the perfect size spring is a factory Ender 3 bed spring. Pretty much anybody with an Ender 3 has upgraded their bed springs. So you probably have at least four of these springs laying around. Uh, we also have a hardware store equivalent listed and that'll be in the full release. We'll have all that information. So that's sort of the back of this. No real changes from before. But what is different in a major way is up here at the front. I love the VZ61 design. I just don't really love how there's no good place to put your hand up front. Um, obviously the thing is designed as a machine pistol, so it is more of a pistol than anything else. So there's really no area up front uh, to put your hand. If you're using the original version and it's got that top folding stock, you can kind of use that if it's folded as a hand stock, but that's kind of where your options end. So what I did is I went ahead and I designed a clamp on, if you will, style um, front hand guard with a rail mount, which you can't see because it currently has this hand stop underneath it. Um, how this works is it slides over the uh, trunnion, if you will, or the big round portion here at the front of the receiver, and then clamps in place. And you see it's got a slot there so that it gives it some flexibility to clamp in place. To keep it from rotating, it indexes on the bottom on, there's a little hump, if you will, at the bottom of the receiver, um, and then it indexes at the front as well up here where it hits the front sight. So it sort of keeps it from rotating, keeps it from having any free play. I mean, this thing is on here rock solid. Um, my, I went through a couple of different iterations of this. One version, the barrel was set back a little bit more, sort of recessed inside there. And I didn't want to, I mean, most of the 3D printed stuff I'm doing is with um, 22s and muzzle blast out of a 22 is not that big of a deal. Muzzle blast out of a 32 is not that big of a deal either. But just to err on the side of caution, I shrunk this down a little bit so basically the muzzle doesn't have any sort of interference for that muzzle blast. There's always going to be a concern about PLA getting too hot. So I, as with many of my designs, integrated sort of a vent system here that allows airflow to go through so that you don't have any air or any hot air just building up around the barrel and then it is open all the way through. So you do have a good amount of airspace so the barrel shouldn't be interacting too much uh, with the handguard. The other feature on this as I mentioned is this 
hand stop, you'll notice that it is made of that same wood PLA that I used for this, uh, for the pistol grip. What this gives you is a nice place to rest your hand, you sort of run your, your off hand up here, kind of put it to the side. I sort of index it off of this little screw bit here, which I actually do need to shorten this screw because it's a little sharper than I'd like. Or I might just design sort of a, a nut, if you will, that screws on there and just gives a, a nice place to rest your thumb. You can't have your thumb too far back because then you'll hit the charging handles, which do reciprocate on this model. But it just sort of gives you, between that, your palm resting on the magazine, gives you a nice place to rest your hand um, and you know, depending on how you're shooting this thing, makes for a very comfortable and very stable shooting platform. Plus, frankly, look at it. Look how good this looks. This mixture of new futuristic design combined with the old, you know, wood in use with the futuristic design just lends itself to a very futuristic Space Force, Star Wars looking thing. My joke for this is that I'm now prepared to arm the Czech Space Force were they to ever create a Space Force. So, Czech Space Agency, hit your boy up, I can help arm you. But yeah, these files are available, basically the files for all of this stuff. Uh, for the brace files, my modified CZAR lower, the handguard, and now the handstop. Uh, because these are basically simple remixes, we're not going through a beta process with this stuff. Uh, these are all currently available on my key base. My username is Booligan. Um, and we'll probably be doing a, a full public release on some of this stuff a little bit later on. Uh, but for now, that's kind of where they're located. Um, we're going to be doing a updated range video as soon as I can find more 32 ACP ammo. Um, as well as a couple of other project guns that I have that we need to put some ammo through. So we'll be doing a updated range video on this and some other projects here in the coming weeks. But in between range trips, I did want to sort of show you guys one of the modifications that I did. And uh, let me know what you guys think. Do you guys like this aesthetic of, you know, sort of futuristic, um, almost cyberpunk aesthetic? Uh, do you guys hate it? What sort of aesthetic would you guys like to see me designing for? Um, I do this stuff on the channel because I build things that I like, but also I love to see what things you guys like and see what I can do to help build them. So speak up in the comment section. Let me know if there's anything else that you'd like me to design, anything else that you'd like to see here on the channel. Of course, other than more shooting, I know I will be doing more shooting as soon as possible. Um, and in the meantime, I appreciate you guys watching the video. I appreciate any interactions that you guys have with the channel, be that likes, subscribes, or comments. And of course, following me on social media where you can see the build progress and design progress of a lot of these parts sort of as they go. Um, obviously, I'm posting on there a lot more frequently than I'm posting videos, so that's always a good place to see updates as I go. Of course, thanks for watching.